So what is self-confidence anyway? I, I mean, there are so many misconceptions. It makes, you know, if you're confident, then you have to appear to be arrogant and prideful, right? Well, I think not. And definitely, you know, there may be some people who will accuse you of that just because of their own misconceptions and limiting beliefs about what confidence looks like and what humility looks like. But I submit that confidence is a mixture of um, love and humility and allows you the freedom to accomplish your goals. So in this video, we're going to talk about Napoleon Hill's confidence formula, and I'm going to tack on at the end a guided meditation of his confidence formula that you can listen to over and over and over again and hopefully commit to memory. And I'm going to talk to you in this video about why this confidence formula is so powerful even if you haven't decided on your definite chief aim yet. Stick around. Hey there, it's Brown One. Welcome to Brown One TV. I am so excited again for this topic because it makes me so happy and I can't wait to tell you my story about it. But if you're if you're new here, then um, let me introduce myself. My name is Bronwyn Olschlager. I am an intuitive decision-making mentor, i.e. an inspired sales girl. Really, I'm a salesperson. But I don't like to think of it that way, and most of the people that come my way are mentors, affiliate marketers, and network marketers who really wanna change their stars but need some help getting the goobery thoughts and beliefs out of the way, and a lot of sales skills. Not like, I'm really, like I really like sales because it's about connecting. And so we're talking a lot about that. We're going to talk a lot about connecting with yourself, your self-love, and this video about the confidence formula is really key in that. So if that sings to your soul, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We've got lots coming all the time. I have a goal that I'm not perfect at yet, which is a good example, I think. As I go, I'll get more and more perfect at it to put out a video every day and be giving value because I have a high need for contribution like most of the people who are attracted to me also have a high need for contribution. So we're doing that um, through many different ways. But today, allow me to contribute by giving you this overview of the confidence formula, and then we're going to go into it as a meditation that you can memorize. The confidence formula is from Napoleon Hill's work. You can find it in Think and Grow Rich. You can also find it in my favorite, The Law of Success. And in The Law of Success, he goes over all like 15, he calls them um, like knights. They're ideas, they're things to internalize that build you and help shape you into a successful person. It helps you let go of misconceptions and um, ideas that make you um, unhappy, really, and that also will chase people away from you. So he's like, the whole idea behind Napoleon Hill's work was for you to become a strong, confident, um, confident minded person who loves yourself and others enough to add value to the world and to do it in a way that is very definite and not flim flam and all over the place so that you can actually benefit from what you're doing. Um, so that brings me to definite chief aim. In his work, he talks a lot about having a definite chief aim. And what that means is you choose a goal and then you stick with it. As long as it feels like the right thing for you to be going after, you stick with it and try different things to get to it until you actually achieve that goal. And, you know, what he what he usually recommends is because most of the people in this world and he's helping with abundance and what he is saying and what he what he was teaching and what he's still teaching through his books is that uh, you can be abundant. You get to have money and you get to be good at managing it and spending it and getting it and using it and keeping this circuit of economy going fluently. And, you know, it's like air. You get to breathe in and you get to breathe out. You, and with entrepreneurship, I like to think of it as breathing out value and breathing in reciprocation, which is, in a, you know, money if you're selling something. So you're breathing out value. You're breathing in that reciprocation of monetary trade. Okay. 
We don't live in an economy that can function very well on the barter system. Everybody still needs money. And, you know, I come from a school of thought that the barter system is the best way and we're kind of sticking it to the man. And as I grew up and I became an adult and I tried that out, I found very quickly that doesn't pay the mortgage. Okay, so keeping in mind that money does need to flow, even if you do some bartering, what's in the confidence formula? He talks about choosing, uh, saying in the confidence formula, you say, I have chosen a definite chief aim. I have written it out. I have done all of these things. Now, I want to tell you something, because when I first started doing the confidence formula, I just felt intuitively that I needed to just do it. And what it kind of did for me is, um, it was like shaking a snow globe. I said I was doing these things and my subconscious program came on board and I got very clear pretty quickly, actually within a month of doing this formula every day, I got to where I was like, oh, well, I feel good about this being my definite chief aim. And here's a list of, of tasks or, you know, steps I need to take in order to get there. And here's a list of the broken down pieces of each of those steps. And I was able to get really, really clear on what I wanted to do and try in order to get to that goal. And as I've gone, things have morphed. Um, things have been presented to me that are like better ideas than the one I had before, but I can stick it in there and it flows and I'm still after that one definite chief aim. So as we go through this meditation, remember, it's not you being a liar. It's you choosing to shake the snow globe. You're saying this to yourself so that you'll let go of maybe some of the old confusion, the old I don't know how, and allow this open door for yourself to know how, to be very, very clear. And this this is like superpower, right? So, okay, let's go ahead and jump into the meditation. I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite purpose in life. Therefore, I demand of myself persistent, continuous action toward its attainment, and I here and now promise to render such action. The dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action and gradually transform themselves into physical reality. Therefore, I will concentrate my thoughts for 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person that I intend to become, therefore creating in my mind a clear mental picture. I know through the theory of auto-suggestion, any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek some expression through some practical means of obtaining the object or position I desire. I have clearly written down a description of my definite chief aim and I will never stop trying until I develop sufficient self-confidence for its attainment. I realize that no wealth or position can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. I will engage in no transaction that will not benefit all whom it affects. I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces that I wish to use and the cooperation of other people. I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve them. I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing love for all humanity, for I know that a negative attitude towards others will never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I will believe in them and in myself. I will save this video of this confidence formula on a playlist. Commit it to memory and repeat it aloud with the video once a day in full faith that I will gradually influence my thoughts and actions so I will become a self-reliant and successful person.